a few days ago I made a video on how I trained a customer. Here's another customer of mine who I also trained, uh, who also passed his welding test with flying colors. And um, he says, Peter, I want to I wanna go in front of camera. I want to say what a great job you did, how it all worked out for me. And I want to share my experience that I had in the past so that other people maybe can take something away from this and not have to do the same expensive mistakes that I made. If you're in the same situation where I am, where you're a shop owner and you need to take that ICAR aluminum welding certification exam, you might not have the machine. Don't make the same mistake that I did originally. This is the second time I had to certify my shop and my employees with the aluminum certification for ICAR. The first time, I went ahead and rented a machine. I rented a Miller uh, machine, and by the time you're done renting and paying for the supplies and having the shipping and everything that goes involved into it, into it I looked into it the second time, I could have, for the price I rented, I could have probably paid almost close to half of the machine. And two times, this machine, the HTP, will be paid off for, and not only that, will you be ahead of the game financially, but you'll be ahead of the game because you have a piece of equipment, and I didn't realize at the time what a good piece of equipment this HTP machine really is. Besides the fact that you can do the aluminum and pass the test, which we did in our shop, well, I see the most value in because you're picking up an excellent piece of equipment, and it's not just the equipment. What I would recommend is that you do what I did. Um, the HTP has an unbelievable instructor who will come out, actually show you how to set up the machine, and actually weld with you for a while. You'll actually use templates very similar to what you have in the ICAR test, and he goes over everything with you. I, you know, two hours of personal training, and you will be welding aluminum. There's no question about it. After two hours of taking that training uh, with Peter, I felt comfortable enough to take and actually pass that ICAR test. The service does not come for free. I think the charge $500 for coming out, setting up the machine, showing you how to use the machine, and actually giving you time um, to one-on-one -on -one instruction on how to use it and, um, is more than uh, well worth it. And actually, when we were here, the guy ended up giving us extra time because it took a little bit more explaining how to use the machine. And you know, they're not counting every single minute of the time. So I think the value is I think the value is really in getting that you know, getting Peter out or getting the instructor out here and showing you how to use the machine and how, and how to weld aluminum. After two hours of training with, with Peter, I felt comfortable enough. I wasn't perfect. I had to do it several times, but I, I knew what I was doing enough and I could, I could catch my, actually my own mistakes. Um, it's just a matter of training myself to do it the proper way, understanding what he was telling me and just following his instructions. By the way, on the day of the test, when you take the test, they will give you cheat sheets on actually how to set it up. You know the pieces of aluminum that you're gonna get from the iCart training. They give you basic settings to get you kind of dialed in. And I can tell you from my first experience when I tried with the Miller machine, without having some basic settings, it was very, very difficult, almost a disaster. Um, with the HTP having the settings and all you have to do is kind of dial it in and get comfortable it, it, It's a, a tremendous aid uh, that will really help you pass the test